Hey, it's Ricky Carruth. So if you're a real estate agent and you're selling houses in the average price point of your market, let's say four, five, six, seven hundred thousand dollars, which my market right now is about six hundred, six hundred fifty thousand dollars on the average price point. And you want to sell properties in the two to five to ten to twenty million range and really step up into that high end luxury market. This is going to be the video for you. I'm going to dive into exactly step by step how to go out there and find find these luxury property owners, what to do with the leads. And these are going to be seller leads that are definitely interested in selling their properties. We're also going to hear from some agents who are selling 5, 10, 15, 20 million dollar homes. And they're going to be asked one question. How do agents break into the luxury market? Also, at the end of the video, I'm going to share with you a link to this incredible interview I did with the number one REMAX agent in the world, six different years. And all he sells is luxury properties, my man, Jordan Cohen. And he really broke down a lot of stuff. That was a great interview. So if you watch this video all the way through, understand what these other agents are saying and also the sell by sell process I'm going to give you. And then you go and watch his interview. You're really going to be equipped with everything you need to go out there and get moving in the right direction if you want to break into the luxury market. And that's the goal today. So buckle up and let's get ready. First off, um, a couple of weeks ago, I was at this conference with about 4,000 real estate agents. And there was a panel. And on the panel were high-end luxury agents. And as I said, they were asked one question. How do agents break in to the luxury market? And so I want to share that clip with you right now of each of those agents' answers. So guys, one of the questions that we seem to get a lot that is centers around how do we as agents, how do these guys break into the luxury market? I'd really love to hear from each one of you your tactic or strategy to open up and get into the luxury market. Tina, we'll start with you. Okay, perfect. So um, I've been in real estate for 24 years and uh, 15 years ago, I actually moved to a brand new market. So I didn't know a soul. Um, but I was armed with um, some knowledge of scripts and picking up the phone. And so I thought, you know what, what the heck, I'm just gonna start calling. And so when you're a new agent at, or you know, new to a market, um, you have to go after the easier business. And to me, the easiest business is a seller that failed to sell. And so if I can go and position myself in front of that seller and show them that I can bring um, you know, something different to the table, a more elevated experience, uh, that's how I broke into luxury. So my first luxury listing um, in Raleigh, North Carolina was over a million dollars and years and years ago. So I think that that for me right now, um, maybe you don't want to call them, but you could drop off a package of information. You could um, email them. And so really getting in front of those luxury sellers because a lot of people are intimidated by it. And when we look at our market right now, we have beautiful, beautiful luxury listings that are overpriced. And so what's nice about this too is that they're sort of beat down a little bit. You know, They've got an agent that maybe didn't guide them correctly. And so you can come in there, especially with the luxury, um, you know, beautiful collateral that we have and the exposure that we can give them. It is magical right now to get them in front of EXP Luxury and all the things that we have. So I would say for me, it was breaking in with expireds and for sale by owners was the easiest way. That's awesome. And you guys, um, I've been hearing story after story of people that are gaining listings by using the collateral that Tina yes. is talking about right now. And so that's super exciting for us to level up your business, take it to the next level. Nathan, what do you have? You know, I, I think often we don't feel like we're worthy in luxury and we put all this pressure on ourselves versus just being authentic to who we are. And my experience with customers is don't change who you are. Uh, don't get pressured on you because of stature that they may have. You just have to be willing to be completely authentic to who you are. A, a perfect example is we had a family that came into town. Uh, they were about a $2 million buyer during COVID and uh, it was you know, an awkward time for everyone, but we just created such a great relationship. They went from a 2 million to five to seven to 10 to 12. They closed a $17 million house with me. And it was all because of the relationship that we developed along the journey. Uh, I ended up going to their wedding recently. And that's just one story of letting your guard down and not trying to portray an image. 
but just truly connecting with those people. I've been on heli skiing trips with my customers. I've had uh, their children intern with our office. And to me, the best part about real estate is having the opportunity to truly connect with people on a deeper level. And that's the thing that you remember forever throughout your career. So take the pressure off, just be willing to connect. Don't try to portray an image, tell the same jokes, and uh, just be who you are and you'll find that you'll connect with the right people that will level up your business and give you referrals over and over again by not being a salesperson and being a connector. I love that. I love that, Nathan. Yes. Yes. Be your genuine self and, and just connect. Jana. Oh, so I'm a 26-year veteran in this business, and um, the moment that I got in, I just realized that I wanted to list to last. I was given that advice from day one, list to last, get more signs out there. The politician with the most signs in the yard usually wins. So I was on a mission to get listings, and so I went after builders, developers, and honestly, I thought, why just get one listing when I could get the whole subdivision? So I was like, I'm going to put signs out there. But really, it was um, to me, it's win you win in life by helping others. And the more, if you want to make more money, you have to bring more value and make an impact. And so for me, it was never about the price point. I believe big or small, we sell them all. And it was just about being the best possible agent, professional, that expertise, that market knowledge and just being me and being real. I was born and raised on a Holstein dairy farm. I was from a very small town, and, um, but I've always liked nice things. I like diamonds, I like big hair, you know, I'm an 80s girl, so. Um, <laughs> but anything, everything I like, I like to do it well. And I credit that to my um, family who raised me to, if you're going to do something, just do it well. And so that's how I honestly got into luxury. Um, but it was never about, I just wanna sell luxury. It was just about doing the job and, and giving the best possible service. So, and of course that morphed in then to me being able to get those luxury listings. But everyone just needs to be treated with respect and treat their money like it's your money. And they wanna be able to trust you and just say, I, she's, my, she's my girl. And then now I have a team, and obviously I have two teams in two states, so I have to hire people that are me and that can also have that same market knowledge. Every one of my team members is also a luxury team member now. They're getting certified themselves. Perfect. And that's a requirement that I have for them um, and just my own high standards so that they can go out and deliver that same expertise. I love it. I love it. Janie. <laughs> yeah, so first of all, I moved to a new market too seven years ago from Miami to St. Augustine, so luxury expired brought me to the number nine agent in my MLS within the two years of being in a new market. So luxury expired, huge opportunity right now. But I would also look at to developing a niche because when you develop a niche, whether it's historic golf properties, waterfront properties, equestrian properties, bed and breakfast, your competition shrinks dramatically. You're easily findable on SEO because those people are looking for the equestrian specialist, the golf specialist. You have kind of passionomics around what those people have created their lifestyle around, you share that. And it really cuts down on pushback on price, on terms, because they feel they need you. you. It's so easy to cut through kind of everything else, easier to get press, easier to get coverage. And then that just, just like you were saying with referrals, that just springs off each other because boat people are gonna wanna share their boat specialist with their friends and family. Mm -hmm. So that's what I would do, go after expires and develop a niche around something you love and know well. Now, that was a lot of insight. I hope you got a lot out of that clip there to kind of get this video going. I also was a speaker at this same conference the next day. Um, I was on a panel for social media. There were so many really incredible nuggets there. And I'm going to share that entire session as soon as I can right here on this YouTube channel. So make sure you're subscribed with the notification bell clicked. Now, if you notice the answers of those luxury agents of how to break into the luxury markets, what was two of their answers. Two of those agents had the same answer. What was it? Put it in the comments right now, but I'll go ahead and tell you what it was. And it was expired. And isn't that amazing that you have high-end luxury agents in front of a crowd of 4,000 agents saying, how do we get into luxury? And their answer is to go after the luxury expired. I thought that was extremely interesting. Actually, Tina actually said for sale by owners and expired. Um, nevertheless, I want to dive in here because I can actually show you how to create the list of expireds and then filter that down to only the high-end luxury expireds and then 
I'll give you the step-by-step -step on calling them, emailing them, texting them, and leaving a package at the door. And what we want to do is go back 10 years worth of not only expireds, but canceled and withdrawns. And we're going to take that list, we're going to filter it and concentrate it down to the high-end luxury uh, expireds. And then we've got this list of gold. People that tried to sell their luxury house in the last 10 years, maybe it was six months ago, maybe it was last year, the year before, whenever it was, it doesn't matter to us because this is a great lead. This is, this is like finding a needle in the haystack. And you can literally do this with a couple of clicks on the computer, have this data and reach out to them every way possible to try to make contact, to try to make a connection see what you can do to help them buying and selling. You don't know what's going on with them. It's our job to do the due diligence, really do the discovery, try to figure out what it is they're trying to do and why so that we can help them do it by offering our services. So let's dive in. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to get this list and filter it down to the high-end luxury property owners. First thing you want to do is go to redxdiscount.com, R-E-D-X discount.com. You're going to go there. This is going to give you the best discount. You automatically save the setup fee. You don't have to pay the $150 setup fee. So you can go to products here. And what we're going to want to get is expireds plus. Okay, the plus gives you the emails as well. Okay, so expireds plus. And when you do this, what happens is, is they're going to, after you go back 10 years worth, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you exactly how to do that. Um, once you have that, that in your folder, then every single day, the new expires just automatically go from your MLS into your folder. You don't have to do anything. They just automatically pile up every single day. If you don't spend... Uh, you know, but one day a week calling expires, you know, you've got all the expires over the last week right there in the folder, you know, with a snap of a finger ready to call. And so well, when you get uh, expires plus, that's what's going to give you the emails as well. So you want to get expires plus. So that's step one, getting expires plus on redxdiscount.com. I'll also put a link in the description. The second thing you want to do is as soon as you purchase expires plus you want to call red x customer service because don't just leave this up and to try to figure it out because every mls is different what we want to do is call customer service and let them walk us through this maybe even on a screen share say listen i want as far back as my mls goes every canceled withdrawn and expired and here's a little tip don't allow them to filter out the ones that sold. We don't care if the property sold. We want to get the data and we want to use that property, whether they sold it or not, as an excuse to reach out, start a conversation, see what it is they have going on, and see if there's anything we can do to help them buying and selling real estate. doesn't matter if the property sold, so don't allow them to filter those out. And your MLS may only go back three years. It may go back like mine. Mine goes back to 2010. So I could get 13 years worth of data. And so have them walk you through that and go ahead and get all that in your folder. Depending on what market you're in, that's going to be tens of thousands of leads, maybe even hundreds of thousands of leads, depending on your market. So step one, get expires plus. Step two, get 10 years or however far back your MLS goes and get all the data. Step three is going to be filtering that data into the high-end luxury property owners. And all we're going to do there is we're going to go to the expired folder. Right now I have 3,872 uh, expires in my folder. And then we're going to scroll down to more filters. Okay. As soon as we hit more filters, we're going to go to listing. Okay. And when you go to listing, we're going to click on the box include. Okay. And this is for include price. The second one is price. And right here, you can literally filter them out uh, depending on price. So let's just say uh, our high end luxury market is over 2 million. So we can just click that. As soon as we put this in, we have to go to the far top right and click close. And then it'll take it just a second. And then my 3,800 or so leads just filter down to 93. So I, I don't have like a high, high-end luxury market, but I have 93 properties right here that expire 
And I only go back, mine only goes back like four years or so. Um, that's only the data I have in here. So I have 93 prospects with properties over $2 million. Now, since I'm not in a high-end luxury market, I could probably go down to a million. Let's do that. If I go to more filters, if I go to listings, let me change this to 1 million and up. Okay, 1 million. And we hit close. Okay, that's going to jump it up to 281. So right here, I have 281 properties over a million bucks that expired in the last three to five years. So if, in fact, uh, I'm in a high-end luxury market and I want to sell stuff over three, over five million, over 10 million, whatever it is, we can use this system to filter it out immediately and have the list right there. Phone numbers, cell phones, emails, all that stuff. And we actually, with uh, Expired Plus, have all the MLS data, how many days it was on the market, who the agent was, what the remarks were, all that stuff is right there as soon as you click on the name. So now that we've gotten Expired Plus, we've gotten all the historical data, we've filtered it down to the high-end luxury property owners. Now, step four is going to be to call these expireds using my script. And then step five is going to be to email, text, and even leave packages on their door if we want to. So let's talk about number four, using my script. You can go to rcscripts.com. I'll put a link in the description if you want to download all of my scripts for absolutely free. But basically, I'll just give you the, the basic outline of the script, and then you can kind of take it from there. You can actually watch me make calls. I'll actually link a video of me calling expires live down below as well if you want to watch this in action. But basically, we're going to tell we're going to make sure it's who we're supposed to be talking to, who we're calling. We're going to introduce ourselves, ask them how they're doing. As soon as they tell us that, we're going to say us too, we're enjoying the day, isn't it gorgeous? Or us too, it's 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 raining cats and dogs, you staying dry out there. Whatever. A little small talk about the weather. People always relate. People always relate to it. Next, we're going to go to great. Well, listen, I don't want to take up too much of your time. I see you were trying to sell this house wherever it was. Um, back last year, the year before, six months ago, whenever the expired happened, say, um, I'm just trying to figure out what happened with that, All right? What's the story there? And they're going to open up. These are my favorite leads, guys. These are my absolute favorite leads, expireds. Um, now that we have data where we can actually go back 10 years worth, have unlimited, you can't call all these leads and have all this data at your fingertips? Yes, um, back before Red X even existed, wasn't a big fan because I had like two expireds a week. But now I can, with the click of a mouse, go back in time and get all that data and call them. Yes, absolutely. So anyway, when we're calling these expireds, we're literally small talk, create the connection, talk to them like family. Um, say, listen, I see you were trying to sell this house at one point. Whatever happened with that? And let them tell you the story. If they say, yeah, we sold that house. Great. Where'd you move to? How do you like it? Are you looking to do anything now? Are you working with an agent uh, uh, at all? You know, if you were to do something, is there an agent you would work with? I'd love the opportunity to work with you. Uh, when you decide to do anything, would it be okay if I stayed in touch? Great. What's a good email? I like to ask for the email, even though I have the email right here in front of me, um, because I like to cross-reference a little bit. If I don't get them on the phone, we can move on to step five, which is go ahead and email them. Email them with the property address and the subject. Say, hey, I hope you're doing super well. I'm a local real estate agent and wherever you are. Um, I see you were trying to sell this property at one point in the past. Just trying to find out what the story was here. See if there's something I could do to help you. See if they respond. You can also text them. You can also go and drop some a package off at their house. Uh, there's a lot of different um, strategies with what to drop off. You know, resumes, how to sell your house, comps, this, that, and the other. I've never personally done that because... Uh, I can just sit in the office and just call person after person after person after person, get people on the phone, figure out what it is they're trying to do and why, help them do it. If they're not looking to do anything now, I'm able to collect that data, put them in my weekly email so that they never forget who I am. If they decide to do something in the future, who are they going to call? There's a good chance they're going to call me. It's not going to win everyone over, but it's going to win a lot of people over. So that's it. That's the step-by-step -step there. 
And like I said, I want to share with you a link to the interview I did with Jordan Cohen. If you didn't see that amazing interview, number one REMAX agent in the world. So I'll put that right here at the end of the video. I'll link it in the description as well. And that's it. That is literally how you can go and get right into high-end luxury sales. The name of the game is conversations. Whatever prop kind of property we want to sell, we need to talk to people who own that type of property. Super simple stuff. I wanted to make this video as quick as possible and give you as much value oh, as I so can. Fun. So I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments and I'll see you on the next video. Let's go. I-35 with the top down, quit to tell a hater they should get like me.